Hi, and welcome to our Qubit how-to video series. In today's video, we're going to show you how to use the Qubit Management Console to backup your Qubit jobs. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is right-click on the Qubit icon on the desktop. In the pop-up menu, select Properties. Then click Open File Location. This will take you to the installation directory for the Qubit software. If you right click on Qubit Management, you'll get another pop up menu. Select Run as Administrator. When you get the user account control message asking you if you want to continue, just say yes. This message may not be shown in this video. Qubit Management Console will then start up correctly. If you click the Configure button on the toolbar, it will take you into the Backup Settings. The very first line in the Backup Settings is the installation location for the Postgres database, which is the database used by Qubit to store the job information. This you can just leave as default. The next line down is the Backup Directory. This is where the backups are going to be stored. In our case, we've got it storing to the local C drive. However, it is recommended that you back up to an external source, such as a network drive, just in case something happens to the computer. In this event, you may lose both the working data and the backups. Just underneath this is the number of backups that are going to be kept. So the default is six. This means that six backups of the data are going to be kept before it overwrites. Just underneath that again is the main box which outlines the databases that are being backed up and their frequency. In our case we can see that we've got a standalone database and that it is being backed up daily. Though if we click into the daily box it gives us the option to never back it up, back it up daily, back it up weekly or back it up monthly. We recommend that you back it up on a daily basis just so that if anything does happen, you don't lose too much information. In the next cell is the next run. So this is the next time the backup is going to run. In our case, it says 15th of the 5th, 2019, at 11.59 p.m. It's obviously recommended that you select a time when someone won't be using the software, just so that it doesn't conflict. Once you've got all these settings set up, you can just simply click OK and that information is going to be set. Additionally to this, you can manually backup the database by clicking the backup button on the toolbar. This will back up to that predefined backup location that we selected in the configuration settings. That's all you need to know for the Qubit Management Console. However, if you do run into troubles or have any questions, please contact the BuildSoft support team and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks.